Hi, this is Alan from Measure Square. Today, I'll be going over how to use the shower tab that was just added in the latest update. As an estimator out in the field, you may quite often have to measure showers, which can be tedious and time consuming. They can have different dimensions, but there are variations of showers that appear over and over again. As a result, we've introduced the shower tab into our objects menu alongside our elevation and stair templates. You can get to it by tapping on tools in the upper toolbar, then going to objects and tapping on shower. This tab contains shower related objects such as shower room templates, curbs, niches, and benches. I'll go over how to use each of these objects. First, let's add a shower. In my showers tab, I'll drag the first item from the list of showers to my floor plan. Then I'll tap on done to finish creating it. Since it's not the size I want, I'll update it by tapping on the shower, tapping on the eye icon, and tapping on Room Edit, and then I'll just resize it by dragging. Then I'll tap on Done to finalize these changes. Next, I'll drag it into my room, and as you can see, it snaps to my corner here as indicated by the green dot. Just to be accurate, I'll go to Room Edit and punch out this shower to make sure that we cut out space for it in the bathroom. Next on this list are curbs. As essential parts of any shower, curbs can easily be added to any shower. Take for example, this shower I have here in my bathroom, which has no curbs. I'll go ahead and add a two-sided curb from my list and drag it to the shower. As I drag the curb over the wall of the shower, you can see the walls highlighted blue, indicating that the curb is snapping to the wall. I'll just let go to drop the curb in. As you can see here, you can set the thickness and height of the curb. Tap Done to finish creating it. And you can see that when you add the curb, you can see the elevation added in the floor plan. Also, it deletes the walls of the shower. If your shower has niches, you can easily drag them onto the walls of your shower. Of course, you will need to turn on your wall view for this part. Tap on Views in the toolbar, then enable Walls on right side. Now, when you tap on the room, this brings up your walls. Now, I can just drag my niche to my shower wall. Here I can also adjust my height and also adjust my dimensions if needed. Lastly, you can add shower benches. As you can see here, there are a large selection of benches from corner seats, standard rectangular benches, to floating benches. I'll drag a corner bench from the list to my shower and let it snap to a corner. Here, I can adjust the height of the bench if needed. We'll tap on Done to finish creating it. Now that I'm finished adding structural components to my shower, I'll go ahead and add some tiling to it. I'll just go ahead and tap on Products to bring up my product catalog, and then I'll go ahead and add some tile to my shower. And then right here, I'll just go ahead and drag some tile to my shower curb. And then of course to my shower bench as well. Now I'll just go ahead and tap on my shower to bring up the walls and add some tiling there. Now 
Now, I'll just go ahead and go to 3D view so I can take a look at my shower. As you can see, we have our shower floor with tiling, the shower curb, the shower bench, and the niche in the wall. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel.